Hi everyone, thank you for being back at my channel. Um, today I'm going to talk about something that has been important in my life regularly because I've been living in all sorts of living situations and that is how to find time and space for your creativity when there is none. Well, I have been living in houses, in flats of all sorts of sizes and I have lived in flat chairs and once I lived in a room that was so small that there was only a bed 90 per 200 centimeters so quite small and I think there was a chest of drawers but a very tiny one and that was it there was no other space in this room so there was no room for any separate corner any dedicated corner for my creativity I used to live in a flat where I had we had a gallery and I shared this gallery. It was tiny, it was just a bit more than one meter deep and the length was probably two meters or something like that. And I shared th this space with the plants during the winter months when the plants that couldn't survive outside were stored there. And uh, I had my little creativity corner there where I stored everything that I need for my creativity or so that anything that sparks my creativity and also as a room for my meditation practice. Um, now the situation is very different and that actually inspired this video because you might also be in a similar situation, especially now I'm filming this in May 2020. And I had to think about that if it's May 2020, I even was thinking about 2021. So that's what this situation does to my brain, really. Gosh. Um, yeah, so you might be in a similar situation. Everybody is at home and the space that I used to have for myself in this flat is our home office. So my husband is currently working there and I'm currently in between homeschooling and also working but my son is now working on some math stuff <laughs> and, and the little one is sleeping <laughs> so good time for this video <laughs> and I had to find a solution for this I needed some space because I was feeling the tension growing inside of me that I didn't have that room anymore for myself and also not really the time for myself so I stood back a little and thought about it and I remembered something I have been or I was using every time I didn't have space for myself and that was a creativity box. This is my space and it contains everything that I currently need for my creativity and to feel connected with my creativity. And yeah, I just thought I share that with you today and show you what is in there so that you are probably also inspired to, to get your own box. And it does really not have to be big or anything, as you can see. I'll show it again. This one is not very big. It's probably the size of a shoe box. And it was meant for laundry, but I didn't really need it for that anymore. And yeah. Oh, if it, I think it's sold out if you are wondering where to get it. But if I find anything similar, I will link it down below in the description box. Um, and it's big enough at the moment for me. If I need something more spacious, I will get that. But for now, I think it, it really contains everything that I need. And that includes this sketchbook where I draw something when I feel like it. Of course, I also have some pencils, there's some black charcoal, some sepia charcoal. Um, then I have this wonderful kneadable eraser or rubber. And why it's so great, because if you don't know that, anyone who draws will most likely know that, architects will know that, you can knead it to a shape, the shape that you need in order to erase very closely to where you have to raise it so to the line and it, it, it it's a wonderful thing I, I actually first got in touch with it at school because at, I was a, at a structural engineering college and we drew a lot of floor plans uh, and for that you had to be very precise uh, so 
this one was fantastic tool for that and I'm still using it to the day. What else do I have here? Yes, I have my morning pages. I have my inspiration journal. Thank you, mommy, by the way, this is from you. Um, where I collect everything that inspires me. I have a separate video on inspiration journal and, in, and collecting inspiration, getting inspiration, and I will link it down below in the description box if you're interested in that. Then I have something also I really adore, and that is uh, origami paper. And this one comes, let me open this properly, with pages and pages of, I think here you can see it, yes, instructions for all sorts of origamis. Okay, the light now is really bright. So I'm sorry. Oh, here now you can see it, I think. And then it is followed by, let me find it, <laughs> all sorts of wonderful origami paper. It's perforated here. And when you tear it out, you have the perfect squares for origami. Wonderful. It, it's, it's such... A wonderful thing to do to just fold these origamis they are quite challenging oftentimes but a wonderful thing to do and to keep yourself away from the phone and when you have this short amount of time for yourself it's it's a beautiful thing to recharge your batteries then um, my pen of course some colored cartridges this one is in purple Violet, it says. Okay, it's violet. Um, I never use blue or black ink in my pens, only colorful ones, pink or violets or turquoise or whatever I can find. Then I also have some crayons, colored crayons, an additional notebook um, just for notes on anything that doesn't really fit into either my morning pages or my inspiration journal. It often has something to do with the creative work that I'm doing. So I come up uh, with something um, while I'm, I'm spending time here. And I have this here yeah, because I'm um, the bed is actually now my only sanction for myself very often. And it's the only time where I can or the only place where I can shut the door and be with this wonderful box and do something creative that has nothing to do with my work. And that's also very important, even though I, I said before that sometimes I will take notes for something at work, but it just comes up, I can stop it. And it's great when that happens, of course, because it means that creativity is really flowing. But in general, I also try to nourish just the creativity in general inside of me and not just what I'm working on and because that it, it can be it be, can become frustrating sometimes if it's just about the work um yeah finally also let's come to a time aspect I find it it the best thing is to ask the people if you're living with other people to ask for some time for yourself even if it's just 15 minutes for yourself, it's a precious time it, and everybody will benefit from it because when you care for yourself, and now I know I am repeating myself, when you care for yourself, then you can better care for other people. So they will benefit from you, from, from this time that you're taking for yourself and your creativity. And I stored this box underneath the bed. I think I mentioned that before, if not, and I've said it now. What are you doing? Do you have some kind of box? Do you have a corner for your creativity? How do you do that? How do you handle that? How do you communi communicate that you need that space and time for yourself? Let me know down in the comments. I will put all the links in the description box, of course. And if you like this video, please like this video, share it with anyone who could benefit from this. I think it's it's really important that we make space, make time for our creativity because it's time and space for ourselves and especially when we're stuck. When we're stuck inside, when we're stuck, not with our family, that's a bit harsh to say, but you know what I mean, you, you know, in, in a sense of that 
it's very difficult to find space and time for yourself. This is a fantastic tool that will help your sanity <laughs> and also your creativity. Um, yeah, and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. We'll see each other very soon. Stay healthy, stay safe and stay creative. Take care. Bye-bye.